tell me what you see, soldier. They're mobilizing the militia. Looks like a lot of activity down there. They've been warned. It won't be of any use. The plan doesn't change. Captains, prepare your men. Their leader, Administrator Tarina, must not survive the battle. Everything else is secondary to that objective. inside. So you're the Jedi. I take it you are responsible for the surprises we've had during this battle. Stand aside. Our quarrel is with a distinguished administrator. This isn't your problem. Is that supposed to convince me, Jedi? I was trained by the Sith. My unit killed many Jedi. I'll give you one last chance. Leave the Administrator to her fate. Then you've allied with these flaming settlers. The galaxy doesn't tolerate weakness. I was trained at Malak's Academy. Your tricks won't work on me. You're just another dead Jedi to me. Kill them all. Thank <laughs> you. 
you so much for your aid. You can be sure that Dantooine will not forget how the Jedi protected us from this threat. We are a humble community, and this conflict has greatly diminished our resources. I hope this reward will be sufficient. I am humbled by your generosity. I will put this to good use. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much work to do. Dantooine will be slow to rebuild, but I am confident now that we will one day achieve prosperity. I should have stopped you long ago. Your machinations end here, outcast. Did you think a handful of mercenaries could hold a Jedi Master? No more words! Defend yourself or perish! <laughs> enough to think you can divide your attention while fighting me? You think you can learn my technique just by watching me? It takes a Jedi Master years to perfect it. You... you must be stopped. It is something the Sith the assassins that stalk us can do. It is of the dark side. The ability to feed on life, the force. The closer one comes to it, it makes them stronger for a time. Not all techniques in the force are learned through practice and training. This is something instinctual, born from experience. It is a way that they fill the hollow places where the force used to be. She did nothing to your eyes that was not already there. She has forced this upon you, but such crude methods are the markings of the Sith. Close your eyes. Feel this ship around you. The welding of the droid as it goes about its work. Now. Stretch out. Hear the rumble of hyperspace, the hum of the hyperdrive. Ignore distractions and focus on my voice. The breathing of the blinded one as she meditates in the dark. Now, listen deeper. Past her breathing and listen. As my feet walk from the ashes of Qatar, I shall not fear, for in fear lies death and
You are strong indeed. What you heard were surface thoughts only, but it is something that masters have trained for for years and never learned. That is not the real question you should ask. Is such listening enough to perceive the world around you? It is not. Because to listen to the thoughts of another is much like attempting to see the universe only with your eyes. It is equally limiting. Now leave me be. I must rest. I think you are right. It is time. I have watched you. You have become strong in the Force again. But that is not all. You have achieved a center in the chaos around us, and I have felt it. My master, the one intended for me, left to fight in the Mandalorian Wars. Now she has returned, and I ask her now if she will train me in the ways of the Force. The one who was to be my master was lost at Malachor V. So it ends. I want you to teach me the ways of the Force. To become a Jedi Knight, what I meant to be. Of course, it would be my pleasure. Meditation, Envy? Why don't you go sit on a rocket? Calm down. What is your problem? I don't want to talk about it. All right, you know, Atten, sometimes it's no wonder you can't figure yourself out the way you lie to yourself all the time. I've hunted a lot of people in my line of work, but I never met someone who wants to get lost more than you do. I've got a pretty good idea why, but not the whole picture. I will, though. My advice? Come clean before I find out. That guy, I don't trust him. I do. I mean, he's all right, I guess. He's like someone who watches too many holovids. Or teaches them. Yeah, you're right. He's boring. Yeah, and that puts him a few ranks up the ladder from you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not boring. No, you're more like a shifty lying idiot with a tendency to complain about every little thing and offer only small bits of helpful advice if pressured. He'd get beaten to death on Narshada almost as soon as he landed, though. Oh, that's good to hear. Thought I had some competition there. Oh, well, it's not really a competition. I mean, you're kind of an idiot, Adden. And you don't shower enough. And you scratch your equipment when you think no one's looking. Don't take it too hard, though. That still makes you better than most people I've met on Narshada. Thanks. And stop watching her. She's got enough problems. Very well. What is it that drives you? Very well. Sit with me. You have brushed the surface thoughts of another. It is a start. Calm yourself. This time, silence your own thoughts. Keep them still. Imagine the waters of the room of a thousand fountains, each stream suddenly falling silent and still. Imagine the ice of Telos, cold and smooth, as it gathers upon the plateau. Now, stretch out. Feel the ship around you. Strip away the metal and see the souls and minds of those that fill its corridors with more thoughts and dreams and worries than can fill the space of this ship. As my feet walk from the ashes of Qatar, I shall not fear, for in fear lies death and... How could the Jedi leave the Republic? Was it because of the Civil War? Is it possible that they... This place is quiet. Nothing like Nar Shaddaa. I don't even know why I'm here. I hm. wonder how much the bounty on the Jedi is now. Don't understand how that Jedi keeps in shape like she does. She's barely changed from the Hollow Records. She just seems to be naturally beautiful. Switch the face of the plus one, minus one card. The totals are nine, ten. Switch the face of the plus two, minus two card. The total is eight, eleven. Switch. The command echoes still, General. And I obey, as I did at Malachor. 
as my feet walk from the ashes of Qatar. Switch the face of the plus one I minus one card. Fear. The totals are nine ten. Or in fear. Switch the face of the plus two. The commandments take the card. Still the total is eight. And I obey. Switch as I did at Malakor. Not now. Focus on my voice. Malakor. Now do you hear me? Truly hear me. You have taken the first steps on a much longer road, Exile. The droids cannot be read in such a way. As for the alien who served with you in the war, its thoughts are more difficult, requiring many translations in meaning. Often it is better to read their impulses and images than their spoken thoughts. That is why he is deaf to you. I have found his impulses are cold, like a dead weight. His thoughts are black. Indeed. It is strange that I did not. Perhaps. I would not put much weight on such things. Of course there was. It is because Atten was not playing Pazak, yet he counts cards in his head. At times, he will list off engine sequences, memorize the hyperspace routes on the other side of the galaxy, count the ticking in the power couplings, even though they are fixed. At other times, he will imagine certain base lusts, certain indignities. It may be Atten is far cleverer than he feigns to be. Or perhaps... He is simply a fool. Passes the time. It's better than listing off engine sequencers, memorizing hyperspace routes, or counting ticks in the power couplings. Of course it's fixed. And that's why you should count the ticking in the power coupling, too. Why do I play Pazak? All right, I'll show you. match. Now, what are you thinking about right now? Right. And that's why I play Pazak in my head. Because if you don't, you've left the door open, and anyone could walk right in. Of course you did. You see, Jedi, light or dark, do it, more often than you'd think. But I never heard one say they were sorry before. That's a new house rule. Now I play Pazak in my head. But while I'm doing that, it's a lot harder for someone to walk in. No. I can only teach you to play Pazak. Do you understand what I'm saying? Good. Now you understand. Alright, I'll deal then. 
If you're ever fighting someone who has the power over your mind, whether light or dark, play Pazak. Start listing hyperspace routes, recite engine sequencers, and when they try to use their powers on you, suddenly it's not as easy as they thought. Because you'll be right here with me, playing Pazak, where they can't reach you.